Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I finally have a haul for you. It's not a lot of items, so this is just going to be a pretty quick unboxing video. I'm not going to try it on, but I will have more detailed videos soon after posting this one. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. And I tend to post modeling pictures on Instagram. So if you haven't checked me out on there, I actually have a lot more content and I tend to post stories just about every day, which helps you get a sense of what's going to be coming up next. So I put them in my trunk just for the presentation. I have three Louis Vuitton items, but before I get to that, I actually have a very special item from Moina. This item is a gift from them. You can see it's still wrapped. I actually haven't opened it yet. So it comes in this, in their signature Moina box, and it has the green ribbon, which I think contrasts really well. And this one I was not expecting though. It, it comes in a leather pouch and it's a very supple leather pouch. But the real item is inside of it. There is a little booklet too. And it's celebrating their 170 years. This was a design I think I showed you before I was able to get a couple of their cards and stickers which had this design on it which I really love the, the geometric design of this and the colors. So this is the logo they put on their hard sided pieces and I think on some of their canvas leather goods as well they have it painted on. So this is my mini limousine 20 you can see it's the same mark. And the front like I was saying, it's the 1849 to 2019 celebration. So this is a really cool item that I will definitely put on display because I really love the design and kind of glad that they actually used it on more items, even though this is a gift and you can't purchase this, but I'm definitely very grateful to have this. And then this was just uh, the second edition of their newspaper, which I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm going to start with this item first. It was on the lower right hand side. So this has two pieces, which I think probably clues you in on what it is. I'm just going to open the larger one first. This is the S lock pouch from fall winter 2019 and I just collected it. I know it was released I think over a month ago but I just went to collect it. It still has the plastic wrap on the metal hardware which is why it's more matte than it should be but this is like an antique brass finish which I really like. I think if you've been following my channel you know that I don't really have any of brown monogram pieces I had one with the split design because it had the blue, the Pacific monogram. So this is really, I would say, my first bag with the full on brown classic monogram. This is called the Monogram Legacy though because of the antique brass finish on the hardware and also the almost pre-patinaed leather, but it's not the same as the, the Vachetta or Ricketta leather because this one is just this color. It's not going to, I don't believe it's going to change over time, but it is more of that honey caramel color than the pale pink. You can pretty much tell this is Virgil Abloh's design because he puts the, this chain motif just about on all of his leather goods. And this is a belt bag. It comes in three sizes, PM, MM, and GM. This is actually the GM size. This is the largest one it comes in. This is a key and just, it's the classic S lock. So you just, pu you just push on one of these to open it. So 
So this is just a booklet about the runway, which has information about the collection, including Monogram Legacy. And it's almost like a wallet, like a pochette inside. So it has six credit card slots. It has a zippered compartment here, and then it has a slot in the back as well. And the inside is lined with the traditional leather that you get with the, the canvas pieces in the same brownish color. And then there's one zip pocket with the same antique brass finish. And this is just the material and product information. So it's cowhide leather trim plus the interior lining and it's coated fabric, which is the canvas. That's the item code M68550. And then in the back, you do have another pocket except you can see here the sides are open. So you could, I can fit my phone here. I have still have the iPhone 10. I can actually slot it in here. The second part of this is the belt. So the GM, MM, and PM size, the, the size of the bouchette is not that big of a difference, but there is. It's really the size of the belt is definitely different. This is the largest one. And because I know I wanted to wear it crossbody, that's why I wanted to get the largest one. And the price is, it's very similar. And the belt is made in Spain and it has a runway stamp too from fall winter 2019. Not sure if you're really gonna be able to see there, but it's made in France, it's in gold foil and it has the same runway stamp for fall winter 2019. So you would just slot it through here. It's actually pretty easy to slot it in once you get one side in it's pretty easy to go through it like that. And I think in the promo shots, they actually show this being worn as a body, like a crossbody bum bag. So this is the first item. This is the second item. This one was a special one that I had to get reserved because it was from a pop-up. It's another one of these smaller bags because I found that with larger bags, I almost never use them except for work, and I've still been using the same exact one that I did from like seven years ago. So there you go. This is my first prism piece, and I just wanted this really to collect something from that prism collection. As you know, the keep all was the most coveted piece from the spring summer collection, and then they also released the Christopher. For me, I just wanted to collect something from it. So this, I think, is the best for me. I think they made a belt as well, but I don't wear belts much at all. So I think a pochette really works for me, and I think I will actually use it. So this is the prism with the white chain, and it comes with a strap as well, which is actually still inside here. So... There's the information again, it's gonna be pretty hard to see. It is made in France and it has the runway stamp for fall, winter 2019. Although I don't think this was technically on the runway, but it still has that stamp. And it has the runway booklet as well. And then inside here is the strap, which is in the same material, but this one's not stamped with the monogram. So it goes like that and then you just push it through. So it's, it becomes like a wristlet. This one is 950 euro. So it's actually less expensive than the S-Lock, the one that I just showed you. But then again, this one doesn't have any leather. It's just plastic and I think nylon or polyester for the zippers. So it has one front flat pocket. There's still a card in here which I kept because it actually helps block out what's inside and it doesn't seem too noticeable. But of course you can take it out and it will be pretty much fully transparent. You can kind of see my hand. And of course, when I put it through like that, you can see my fingers inside. 
and you can see the material tag in there as well. So it is 90% polyurethane and 10% polyester exterior and the same I guess for the lining. It says cow leather trims but I don't see any trims on here so I'm really not sure. I don't see any leather trims at all so I'm not sure what they're referring to. I'm wondering if they use the same tag for the Keep All and the Christopher, which may have some leather trims on them. It's a Volga pochette in the prism. It is a really pretty piece. I know there's been a lot of talk about quality issues with this, and when I look closely even on this one, even though it's not used, you can still see some imperfections just from the production alone. Like, Basically, it's probably impossible for them to make a perfect one just because of the material and actually even in the booklet. This is the page about the monogram prism and it says with time your articles may develop small bubbles under the handles and imperfections on the textile surface. So they know it's a known issue and I'm wondering this may be the last season that they create this because there definitely have been a lot of people I know that have returned it but for me even if it has those issues I'll, I plan on keeping it because for me, it's just more of a collection piece, and I probably won't really be using this as much. I had initially ordered the first Pochette Volga by Virgil, the special October drop, directly from the New York store, but for whatever reason, that never got fulfilled, even though they took all my information, so I was like, forget it. But I'm glad I got this version instead. I think it's more special, so I think things worked out. All right, this is my last piece and it's the biggest one. It's not from fall winter 2019. It's actually from spring summer 2019. You'll soon find out why there was such a delay in getting it. So it comes in two pieces. Of course, show you the big one first. So this is the clutch box from the spring-summer 2019 show, The Runway. It's in the, I think, absolute black with the vintage kind of linen effect for the canvas. It doesn't have the monogram on it. And in fact, there really isn't anything on here that has LV or Louis Vuitton. The only thing is if you can kind of see on the lock mechanism, there's an LV there. That's it. I, and some of the screws have the flower, one of the monogram flower designs, which he used on that fall winter piece I showed you as well in place of a screw. So this one is the model number four for the hard sided pieces. Pretty much all of them he numbered as like the design number. This doesn't say this is the fourth one produced out of X number. It just means this design is model number four. And it has his signature chain design, his chain motif here, as well as the chain. This is like, I don't know if it's official, but I think people have been calling it like a hairpin closing mechanism. And then this side, the other side doesn't have the markings. And it opens like, I call this a cigarette box opening because that's what it reminds me of. And the back is plain. These are leather trimmings with the nails or rivets. And these are matte black metal accents with the corners as well. I had ordered this one pretty much when the like a week or two after the first show ended, which was last June, I believe. And it took them about 14 months to finish this. And here the chain you may be able to see, this part is like a very matte black, and I think it's ceramic. This is metal. And you can see the first link is actually attached to this mechanism so it doesn't move. And I think that reason is so the chain doesn't go out of the design, the, the pin. So that's how you open it. And just like the S-lock 
belt bag I showed you, there's nowhere to keep this once you open it so it can dangle. And there's a slight, I think it is magnet because I can feel there's a slight pull once it goes closer, which is good because you could wear it without the pin open and it won't just fall out as easy, things won't just fall out easily. This is the material and product tag, clutch box in the Absolute Noir. And it is coated canvas, coated fabric with cowhide leather trim. And with the hard-sided pieces, I believe they are always all leather lined. So this is all leather lined. And if you can see that, that's the tag. So unlike the two I showed you before, this is actually from spring summer 2019. And of course it's made in France in their Agne Atelier. So the inside is just one pocket, plus there is a flat pocket in the back. So that's what it looks like when it's open. And then the last thing I'll quickly show you is the shoulder strap. It's pretty standard. It's just a black shoulder strap with the same matte black metal. And it has a small pad here. So you just attach it to both of those sides. And with the metal hardware, if you've been following their products, you'll know that there is possibility of chipping because it's kind of like a, a treatment on the metal. So especially with a heavier, this one's not nearly as heavy as a titanium, but even with this one, you're probably going to start seeing some chipping. And when I look closely at the hair, the hairpin closing mechanism and underneath here, I can already see some like wear marks. But this being meant to look like a vintage piece because of the kind of almost distressed canvas look, I think it's fine. So I'm not going to be too worried about this one getting wear and tear. I think it will actually just work with the design for this one. This one is definitely not as loud as the titanium trunk, but it's still actually pretty striking. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. So subscribe for more videos where I'll be doing a detailed video for each of these three pieces and you'll see how it looks like on. Check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content because I definitely update that a lot more than I do on YouTube. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.